Hi there. I just wanted to do a quick tutorial on how to make your own watercolor paint from some basic uh, shimmery eyeshadow. Uh, I went to the dollar store, sorry about my light, um, and I purchased uh, a palette of shimmery, almost um, chameleon-like eyeshadow. And you can see where I, um, where I popped out the little piece there. And I popped out about six of those and a teaspoon, one whole teaspoon of it is right here. Um, so then I have purchased from Amazon some US Art Supply Ju uh, Jewel Essence Dry Mica Pearl Powder in Interference Gold. And I have uh, my standard uh, binder recipe. It really just consists of um, gum arabic, glycerin, uh, some clove oil, some ox gall. Um, I've been trying to perfect my uh, my little recipe for the last year or two. Um, but this is just, you know, it's just some basic materials that you can find on the internet. Again, gum arabic, glycerin, uh, ox gall, etc. Um, so I am used to making paint. So I know approximately the consistency that I want this to be. So I mix the binder in and I mix the um, the interference gold into it because I want to make sort of, you know, the really popular chameleon style um, color shifting paint. So you have the already pearlescent and shimmering color of uh, the eyeshadow mixed with the interference gold, which then gives you that refractive and color changing appearance. See, I'm just gonna add some more binder and I mix it in. And this is getting really close to the consistency that I want this to be. And then what I always do when I make my paint is I do a little test patch in my notebook. Uh, my Make It Pops, sorry, Make It Pop Labs. Um, little mini book here where I test all my paint samples. So then I do a little sample and not only do I test it for a binder for being bound to the pigment or the pigment being bound to the binder so that it sticks, but I also check the flow um, and you know the spread of the luminosity. There's a lot of factors that go into um, making this, but this looks to be the right consistency. Um, you want something that's liquidy, but not runny. And you want that little bit of shine. You don't want it to look chunky. So for anybody interested in making their own uh, watercolor paint, it's really pretty basic. I found my binder recipe online through different sources. Um, and I can link where I found my initial recipe uh, to get started and figure out my personal one. Um, but yeah, I hope this helps people who want to make this at home. And I hope that once my shop is up, make it pop labs, um, you'll come and check out my paint, maybe buy some or spread the word. Thank you so much.